So recently, Jack Frags responded to my video. If you want more Battlefield 6 content, be sure to subscribe. Now, it's no doubt that my channel hit the whole Battlefield algorithm. I got half a million views just this month from posting Battlefield 6 videos. Not only did Jack Frags notice my content, I am most likely casting one of the developers also saw my video on Battlefield 6. Now, Jack Frags watched my video and responded to it. I've been watching Jack Frax for some time and he is a very, very talented content creator. He is also very humble and engages with his community. Believe it or not, I have actually been watching him for some time. Well, there's a couple of discussion points that I wanted to talk about today. In the Battlefield community over the last few weeks, there's been a lot of discussion about what the next game will be and I've seen all kinds of posts popping up on reddit not just the battlefield reddit though but the gaming reddit you know those kind of forums where people claim they've got info about the next game and they go into great detail about what it is i definitely agree with jack frax here there is a lot of gossip going on especially for how little info we have about battlefield 6. And it's not just prevalent for the Battlefield franchise, but I truly believe this will be one of the biggest games we know so far. We could also see something like this either in Overwatch, Valorant, even CSGO back in 2011. There was a lot of speculation. Simply with the lack of info we have right now, there is a lot of people posting their own things. And that's not necessarily a bad thing. It hypes up the community. A lot of people hear something from their friends or another reddit post and say hey i'm gonna use this maybe it's true i had the same thing about bad company 3 thinking bad company 3 would be in battlefield 6 simply reading some posts what's very important to note here is that sometimes these leaks were true but you always have to take them with a pinch of salt usually these posts or even videos are not made to hurt the community but instead help it and grow and thrive together all true it hypes us for the next battlefield game we might get it's still very important to note that not everything might be true as it seems i created this channel with one thing in mind to get people the information for Battlefield 6 they need. And some of these posts, they sound really believable and you think, oh, actually, yeah, that, that sounds kind of cool. I'd like that. But you have to keep in mind that most of the time, this stuff is made up. So don't read too much into it. And I've seen a couple of YouTube channels as well where they claim that this stuff is gospel and 100% confirmed. But the reality is that we don't know anything yet that this is the mistake I made. I have to take accountability for this. I didn't let people know that these are just some sort of unconfirmed reports of what might Battlefield 6 seem to look like or not look like for that matter. And I also will get that later on into the video. Seems like in the past month, my channel has really been getting a lot of attention and with a lot of attention really comes a lot of accountability. Seems like Jack Frags is also mentioning my channel and most likely other channels as well that do the same thing. I can definitely tell you I get hyped about this game a lot because I've been waiting for it for some time. That being said, I truly believe that developers put a lot of effort into this game and it will be really, really good. That being said, Jack Frags is totally right. With a lot of speculation going on, not everything is true. The only things that we know about the next game, really, are what they've said in the investors' calls and the EA investors' calls. And that's typically been, it's really big scale, like we've never seen before. We've got a couple of clips as well with some destruction, of course, and a, a dude's face. That's it. That's literally it. But, interestingly, Laura Mielli, she is the chief studios officer at EA. She was on the Game Awards. You know, Jeff Keighley does the Game Awards. Last week, they did a live stream and she was there speaking to Jeff and they did an interview and they were talking about next gen consoles. I don't know off the top of my head what she said word for word, like verbatim, I, I can't remember. But if I were to summarize it, you know, it was just like, oh, that guy's dead. So the next gen consoles are awesome in terms of the power 
And of course, we're going to have great graphics, ray tracing, audio, that kind of stuff. But then she went on to say, one of the best things about these new consoles is that they're enabling innovation. Now, I did talk about Laura Mieli, and I have to truly apologize in my last video because it seems like I spelled her surname wrong. I said Laura Miel instead of Laura Mieli. Laura, if you're watching this, I truly apologize for such an action. That being said, the presentation and the Battlefield 6 being a huge scale and with huge battles really hyped me up. With Battlefield 6 being on next-gen consoles, it's really important to note here that there is a lot of room to what you can actually do. You can have new destruction, you can have new weapons, you can have any kind of new features. And that is exactly what I want to see in the new Battlefield. Now there are endless possibilities of where Battlefield games and the full franchise can go. It's not only limited to what the PS4 and Xbox One can perform, but now has endless paths and possibilities of where it could end up to. And then she went on to say that DICE are building the next Battlefield game. We know that, the whole studio is working on it. Yeah, snake in the grass right there. But also that it's got scale that we've never seen before. We've heard that one already. And then she said, that it's blowing them away. That's it. That's all we got. We got a scale like we've never seen before. Dice are working on the game. They're playing the game. And that's it. <laughs> that's literally it. That's definitely true. We only have so little information and they're definitely hiding a lot of things. Considering, well, there has been rumors in his comments that Jack Frags knows something, he is definitely a very, very viable source. If you ever start your own YouTube channel, you as a viewer, you will probably notice how fast you can grow in just a month. I definitely feel like I didn't disclose this enough with my audience that these leaks are just speculation and I feel accountable for creating such a hype. A hype that might in the end not even be true. But that's it, that's all we know. It's big, there's innovation, the scale like we've never seen before. That's it. So all of these uh, leaks and posts that you're seeing on Reddit and 4chan, they're most likely not true. I mean, I've fallen for it in the past as well. If you guys remember... When was it? It was, I think it was like March, April last year when they were talking about the PlayStation 5 and... I've also fallen for such leaks and in the end, we're all human. So don't beat yourself up if anything pops up that might not be later on in there. ...as launch titles and claimed it as gospel or someone else has taken the post and just added that information. It's Bad Company 3, not a launch title. It's not been announced. We don't know anything about it. So even the ones that look legitimate, sometimes they're just not true. I feel like this is definitely something I should have discussed in my videos more. Even though I did a lot of research on these videos, especially the ones that looked super, super real, end up being not real. Now correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, but the reason why myself and others got so excited was because of the previous Battlefield 1 and Battlefield 5 teasers we got. DICE loves to put out small easter eggs that actually tease the next game. You know, I've seen this other stuff cropping up with like fake easter eggs and runic text that's not even in the game, it's literally just made up. I've had people message me on Twitter and Discord going, Jack, have you seen this? This confirms what the next Battlefield is. And it, it's going to have single player and it, it's set in World War 3. It's literally just made up. It's all made up. So don't believe it. Now, that is my most popular video. The original Easter egg video was in German. And I made a huge mistake. I thought the, the M1 Garand easter egg was connected with this runic kind of tease about Battlefield 6. I honestly made a huge mistake thinking that DICE put this out in the book, which is not true. 
and I should have been more careful. Now, I honestly deeply, deeply apologize to anyone working at DICE, considering I spread some information that was not confirmed. I'm most likely guessing someone from DICE is also watching my videos, so I very deeply apologize from the bottom of my heart. The main point of this channel is bringing a community together, and honestly, I will be very, very more careful after this video. We all get excited, including including me, a person sitting behind this channel. I'm also a huge fan of the Battlefield franchise, and the next game we will get will be really, really good. Yeah, it's, it's okay to get excited, of course, but most of the time, it's probably just made up. Look at these little guys up here crawling. I'm also very excited about Battlefield 6 personally, but moving from now on, this channel will be more transparent. Battlefield 6 is still 11 months away, which considering by the time and how fast it goes, that's not necessarily long. 11 months goes by fast, and especially since we're getting something in 3-4 months, it's definitely possible that this game will be big. One thing is for certain, and it doesn't even require any leak confirmations or anything like that. DICE is working on their game really, really hard, and I will support them by pre-ordering it. That being said, take all my videos in the future with a pinch of salt, unless they're actually confirmed by DICE. I really want to thank Jack Frax for actually making a video that's really transparent. Going from now onwards, I will definitely be more transparent myself, considering this channel is gonna last for a few more years. I would also like to apologize anyone watching this video for considering that my leaks are confirmed. In the end, it's just speculation, and I really appreciate you being here. That being said, if you want to keep up more Battlefield 6 content, I definitely recommend you that you subscribe.